Hey BeerTubers, Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Okay, you're looking at a beer sent to me from Jim in Michigan. And of course, it's a Michigan beer that we can't get here in San Diego. This is from Arbor Brewing Company out of Ypsilanti. And this is their Sacred Cow IPA. There's uh, no info in the bottle about the beer, so I checked out their website. This beer clock's in at 6.8%. And they say around 80 IBUs. Not much about the hops other than mentions a like cascade-like hop aroma. Let's get this thing poured out. It is bottle conditioned, so I'm going to try to go kind of easy on the pour. I can see the yeast uh, wasn't sticking around the bottom too much. Not high uh, flocculation on that yeast, so maybe it's something like uh, Weist American Ale yeast or something like that. Something I've used in the past kind of looks like that in the bottle. Wow, good amount of carbonation coming up. Got about a finger of uh, eh, just kind of off-white head, maybe a little bit of a yellow tinge. It's definitely cloudy. That's probably mostly due to that, getting some yeast in there. Just a nice kind of darker golden, not kind of going into orange color. Not quite there. Let's get the aroma on it. Yeah, it's got a very, very floral, citrusy aroma. Some sweeter orange notes. I don't know if it's gonna be one of those big orangey beers that Daniel keeps talking to me that are you know from the Midwest, but get some like sweeter citrus, grapefruit, big floral character, maybe slight touch of earthiness, but definitely more floral citrus to see on the nose. So let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's real nice, clean, uh, pretty balanced beer overall. The carbonation really attacks your palate up front. I'd maybe want the carbonation turned down just a little bit. I mean, I do like my IPAs carbonated, but this one, the carbonation keeps coming up. It's almost almost carbonated up like a, a Belgian ale. Front of the tongue, you're really hit with that citrusy grapefruit notes. It tends to be a little more bitter. They mentioned Cascade in that description. I mean, that's kind of like the type of bitters I'm getting. It's kind of like classic Cascade, something you find like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. You kind of get those notes up front. That floral note kind of carries through. The, the end of the bitterness kind of goes into a little more of that sort of earthy, piney note. Not, not resiny, but just kind of that sort of nice, not quite fresh cut pine, but kind of towards that territory. Then a little over halfway through that malt comes in. It's a big, bready, biscuity, nice malt backbone. Hint of like a, you know, like a sweeter note though, sweeter brightiness kind of character to it. That kind of almost, maybe there's a touch of really light crystal malt in there to kind of add some sweetness as well. And maybe it's because of the high carbonation, but I got a little, little touch of alcohol just a touch towards the back end as it goes down. But uh, overall, and, and that sweet malt character kind of helps balance out the beer really well. It's, it's definitely more of that balanced, you know, kind of mid, middle of the country road kind of IPA. But it doesn't have like maybe some of this sweeter kind of orangey notes in the flavor. It doesn't have a too sweet of a malt character. It does have enough bitterness up front. And, you know, it's not that kind of that sticky. It's a little more more crisp, uh, refreshing on the palate, largely due to the high carbonation. I'll have to see how the other bottle does if it's this, this carbonated that he sent me. So I've been drinking on this one a bit longer, and for some reason that, that alcohol character keeps cropping up uh, and keeps, as the beer warms, just becomes more and more prominent, which is unfortunate because I, you know, I, I thought, you know, early on this beer was maybe around a B, you know, really just above average IPA, but... Um, as a drink, I'm more, I don't know why. It's only 6.8%. I don't know if the high carbonation had to do with anything, but so I'm going to go with the C plus with this one. Uh, I just think that the alcohol just kind of, I don't know, it just becomes a little too prominent within a beer, especially an IPA at you know this low level, So which is unfortunate. So it's going to be a C plus for Arbor Brewing Sacred Cow IPA. Thanks to Jim out in Michigan for sending it my way. And until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.